All right, we want to bring you the very latest on the Monday morning commute. Okay, this is the first one since that new lane shift went into place on 195 over the Washington Bridge. Erica Ritchie is live monitoring the conditions. What's the latest, Erica? Well, Danielle, over the last 45 minutes, we've been watching the traffic build on 195 West heading into the capital city here as anticipated. Take a look. You can see it is very slow going as those lanes are reduced down to three lanes if you're traveling on 195 West. If you're getting onto the highway from Taunton Ave, Warren Ave, or um, Veterans Memorial Parkway, you can see you're down to one lane. And so that's not only having an effect getting onto the highway, it's also backing up traffic onto the East Providence. Streets on Taunton Ave over here, so keep that in mind if you're heading this way. Now, this is a big project, and this is only the first phase of the project. The entire $78 million project expected to wrap up in 2026, and that's because it doesn't just involve bridge repairs, but also a new exit to Waterfront Drive in East Providence to help support economic development, along with an additional travel lane on the Washington Bridge to help keep traffic flowing. Now, the Rhode Island Department of Transportation projecting that when the project is done, the morning commute from the state line to the 95 split will be reduced from 16 minutes to less than 10. So that's the end goal. Keep that in mind when you are heading out this morning. If you're getting ready for your morning commute to go this direction and you're sitting in that traffic, the end goal is to shorten the commute by the end of 2026. Now, uh, DOT saying if you are planning to come this way this morning and you can seek an alternate route, please go ahead and do that. If you're coming from the East Bay, consider the Henderson Bridge. If you're coming from southeastern Massachusetts, maybe Route 24, Route 140, or even Route 495 will be a good option for you so you're not stuck in this here. Uh, and then the last thing they really want you to know is stay in your lane. They say weaving in and out of lanes really slows things up. So all of these lanes head to Route 95. If you're coming this way, they all go through. Stay in your lane. That's the latest live in East Providence this morning. Erica Ritchie, 12 News. We are keeping a close eye on the Washington Bridge, as Melissa mentioned. So this is the first weekday commute since that construction project started last week. Erica Ritchie is live with the latest on what we're seeing for delays out there. Well, Danielle, good morning. Definitely an increase in the volume of vehicles, but we've really only seen some slowdowns, not any standstills. You can see over here, traffic is moving slowly, uh, although it is still moving. I want to draw your attention to the on-ramp from Taunton Ave, from Veterans Memorial Parkway, from Warren Ave here. And I want you to know that all of these lanes go straight through to 95. So if you're going to be getting on the highway, on 195 West, over the Washington Bridge, from this area over here, from Taunton Ave, Warren Ave, Veterans Memorial Parkway, stay in your lane. There's no need to try and put on your left blinker to cut over because all the lanes will go through. That's the only place that we've really been seeing the problems is when folks are trying to cut over thinking that's the only way they can get to 95 North or South. Stay in your lane. All of the lanes will go through to 95 South. Now, traffic has been moving fairly freely, even though it has been slowing down here. Uh, this is the area, though, from Broadway to South Main Street that we are going to be monitoring and have been those traffic slowdowns here um, and that's because the lanes are closed. We're down to three lanes on 195 over the Washington Bridge. So once again, DOT is asking you to stay in your lane. That weaving in and out of traffic is really what causes the increased slowdowns in addition to the volume. Uh, also asking you to seek some alternate routes. If you're coming from the East Bay, try the Henderson Bridge to get over into the capital city in Providence. If you're coming from southeastern Massachusetts, consider Route 24 or Route 140 or even Route 495 to avoid 195 uh, as this project is going to be uh, slowing things down for quite some time. Now, as we come back live, I can tell you that this is only the first phase of a multi-phase, multi-year, $78 million bridge reconstruction project, and that's because it's a whole lot more than just repairing and reconstructing the Washington Bridge. We'll talk more about that coming up at the top of the hour. I'll see you right back here then. For now, live in East Providence, Erica Ritchie, 12 News.